Hello, my name is Candy. I'm a final year PhD student researcher at University of Bristol and I work in the chemistry department and here is my office. So my project is about analysing a particle that's called antibiotics. You might have taken those before when you got some kind of infections. So I would take the antibiotics, put it through the instrument and see how it would break down in your human body. And I would take that result and data and give it to other scientists to develop more antibiotics or analyze how the antibiotics would function. So here's my lab. As you can see, it's a little bit noisy, which is normal with all the instruments going. We have a few instruments here. They're all my spectrometers. If you follow me, I can show you quickly how I prepare the sample. We have a drawer of equipment or devices. You just get the tip for the pipette, and then you put your sample in the valve and close this like that and then you can take that to the instrument so now this is a mass spectrometer and you have our samples just orbiting around the spindle until it lost all the energies and then it goes to the detector I focus on analyzing antibiotics so I put antibiotics people made already into the instrument and break them up and see how they break up in the instrument and that tells me the characterization of the antibiotic. What's the challenges in becoming a, a scientist? Being a female sometimes definitely proves to be difficult because in my culture growing up, mom and dad always think that if you are a girl you should pursue safer career options like working in finance, something that doesn't require you to handle chemicals or, or, or devices. But once you go beyond that, I think I start to get the support from my teachers and my schools and that definitely helped me to overcome the difficulties. The advice I would give to myself or younger self would be Definitely be more confident. I think growing up, being confident as a girl was always quite a problem for me. I've always been really, really shy. I was never the one who can raise my hand and answer any questions. I would always just try not to say anything. Um, so definitely being confident and believe in yourself. If you have a hobby or have any fondness towards any subjects or area you want to pursue, definitely just go for it. Nothing bad would happen and you can be wherever you want to be.